Can you explain to us your concept of the S-curve and how that relates to what King Benjamin is teaching? Yeah, so the S-curve is a road map that allows you to understand the process of change. It helps you think about what does growth and change look and what does it feel like? What's the experience, the emotional experience that you have going from point A to point B? So there are three different parts to it. So there's the, the flat part, the launch point, and then there's this steep part, which is the, the sweet spot. And then there's the flat part at the top, which is the mastery. Okay. All right, so that's the launch point, sweet spot, mastery. And so what's happening in your brain is when you're on the launch point, your brain is making lots of predictions about what is it gonna take for me to get from launch point to mastery. And at the launch point, most of those predictions are inaccurate. And so dopamine, which is the chemical messenger of delight, it drops. So you have the experience of feeling overwhelmed, discouraged, frustrated, and it's not that growth isn't happening. In fact, it's happening very quickly, but it's not yet apparent, so it feels slow, which is why it's hard to start something new, why it's hard to repent, why it's hard to change. But then you put in the effort, and then you move into the sweet spot. And here, your predictions are increasingly accurate. Your dopamine starts to spike. You have these emotional upside surprises, and you feel exhilarated, which is why once you start doing something, you start down that covenant path, it's easy to keep going. Then in mastery, what happens is you've figured a lot of things out. You're getting a little bit of dopamine, but not a lot. You're not growing at the same pace you once were. Now, we use this professionally for talent development, for change management. Jesus uses it in the church. Every time we get a new calling, what happens? He says, you're at the top of the curve. You're really good at teaching Sunday school. We're going to disrupt you <laughs> and have you learn how to be a secretary in Relief Society. Now, what I love about this is that I'm teaching this in a business setting, mm -hmm. but what it actually allows me to do, a little bit of inside baseball, it allows me to teach people the gospel, that growth is our default setting, that we're wired to grow, that human growth is unbounded. It helps me remember when I'm doing something new and I'm feeling uncomfortable and awkward and like an imposter, situation normal. This is exactly how it's supposed to feel.